Hello guys, my name is Prophet Alistair Chibanda. I want to talk about the concept of grace versus the law of Moses. The concept of grace versus the law. You have to understand that John 1 verse number 17 says, For the law came by Moses, but Jesus brought grace. So there is a difference between the law of Moses and the grace of Christ. Now, these two, they don't mix. Like what some people think that grace gives you power to keep the law of Moses. It is not like that. Grace does not give you power to keep the law of Moses. No. There was the time of the law of Moses. Right? And there is the time of grace. Right? These are two different times. What is grace? Grace is the law of Christ. Grace is the law of Christ. Somebody says, why do we call it the law of Moses? It is because the Bible calls it the law of Moses many times. Because it was handed to Moses by God so that Moses would give it to the people of Israel. We have to know that this law of Moses was given only to Israel. If you study Leviticus 26, verse 46, it was given only to Israel, this law of Moses. There was no nation apart from Israel that was given this law. You have to know it. Grace here, that came by Jesus, John 1, verse number 17, it was given to the church what is the church? Anyone who receives Jesus Christ becomes the body of Christ, becomes the church, and was given grace. Now, Jesus did not come to destroy the law of Moses. No. Jesus did not come to destroy the law of Moses. Jesus came to fulfill the law. Right? To fulfill the law. Why to fulfill the law? It is because Moses and all Israelites, they could not fulfill this law. Nobody could keep it. That is why the Bible says, For all have fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned. So Jesus came and said, I will fulfill this law that you have failed to fulfill. After fulfilling it, I will then start a new law. John chapter number 13, verse number 34 to 35. So Jesus fulfilled the law of Moses and he started a new law, which is the law of Christ, the new commandment of love and faith. It is also explained in 1 John chapter 3, verse number 23. To 24. Now, so many people they read First John and they think that he is talking about the Ten Commandments. He is not talking about the Ten Commandments. He is simply talking about the new law of Christ, love and faith. Right? So the new law of Christ is what? Love and faith. Then the old law of Moses it had ten commandments right ten commandments plus 613 right laws or ordinances and this law was not easy to keep they could not keep it that is why Jesus came to fulfill it to fulfill it if you study the Romans Chapter number 8, right from verse number 2 to verse number 3. It tells you, 
that what the law could not do, Christ came to fulfill it and to help us to live under grace. So these two cannot be mixed. You cannot mix the law of Moses and grace. You can't mix them. Why? If you study Galatians, right? Galatians chapter 3 verse number 12. It tells you that the law of Moses is not of faith. So you cannot mix the law of Moses and the grace of Christ. They cannot mix. Now, there is a scripture I want you to understand. Hebrews chapter 7 verse number 12. He tells us in Hebrews 7 verse 12 that if there was a change of the priesthood from Levitical priesthood, to the priesthood of Christ, which is after the order of Melchizedek, he said there is also a necessity of changing the law. So he is not saying continue using the law of Moses in the New Testament under grace. No. He is saying the priesthood was changed. Therefore, these laws was also changed. So we are coming from this law of Moses into the law of Christ. There is a change. Now, Hebrews, right, chapter 8, from verse 13, he tells us that this law of Moses vanished and the new law was started. So the Christian is not lawless. The Christian is under the law of Christ, which is grace, right? What is the scripture? Galatians, Chapter 6, verse number 2. This is where the Christian is. When God is going to judge the Christian, he does not use the law of Moses. Because a Christian is not under this law of Moses. I am aware that you know Romans chapter number 6, verse number 14. It says you are not under the law of Moses. Galatians Chapter 5, verse number 18. He says, also, if you are led by the Spirit of God, you are not under the law of Moses. Galatians also, chapter 3, from verse number 23 to verse number 25. He tells you that you are not under the law of Moses again. So if you are not under the law of Moses, why do you then have to keep it? And why should God judge you using the law of Moses in which you are not under? He cannot do that. Now, I want to show you something. I want to show you something, and this time you have to understand this. Now, let's move on. I want to show you something, and I want you to understand it. The Bible says, you are not under the law of Moses, but you are under grace. So, let's draw an umbrella. This is an umbrella, right? And another umbrella, right? Now, this is grace. This is the law of Moses, right? Romans 6, verse number 14, Galatians, um... 3, verse number 23 to 25, and Galatians 5, verse number 18, right? These scriptures, they say you are not under the law of Moses, but you are under grace. What does it mean? It means you are not under the year, right? But you are under grace. You are here. You see that? So they don't mix. You cannot be under grace and live by the law. No, you don't do that. If you are under grace, you are under grace. You live by the law of Christ. Yeah. You live by the law of Christ. Right? Which is love plus faith. Right? And remember, I told you that Romans, I'm sorry, Galatians, 
Galatians 3 verse number 12 says the law is not of faith. So you cannot mix the two. You can't. You live only under one umbrella. Unfortunately, we have Christians who are born again by the grace of God who are trying to live by obeying the law of Moses. This is why their Christianity is confusing. They sin and do sin after sin without even overcoming the sins that they are committing. Why are they committing more sin without overcoming the sin? It is because First Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 56, it tells you that the strength of sin is the law. So the law gives sin power. So you cannot overcome it. You cannot to commit sin because you are under the law. Now here in Romans chapter number 6, right? He tells us if you study from verse number 15 to verse number 20, um, 21. He tells us that if you are under grace, you are given power over sin. If you are under the law, you are a servant of sin. If you are under grace, you are a servant of righteousness. So you have to choose. Because if you are under the law, you are trying to keep the Ten Commandments and the 613 laws and regulations of the Ten Commandments, then you, James says in James chapter 2, he says, if you break one law here, you have broken all the law. So if you lie, you have broken adultery, you have done um, a murder, you have done blasphemy, you have done idolatry, and so forth, by just committing one sin. But when you are under grace, you have got power to overcome sin. When you are under grace, you cannot commit sin. Why? Because grace gives you power to overcome sin. But you may choose to sin if you are under grace. Not because the sin is controlling you. No. If you are under the law, sin controls you. Sin rules over you. Sin has got dominion over you. When you are under grace, Romans chapter 6, verse number 14, you have got dominion over sin. You control sin. You rule over sin. Sin does not rule over you under grace. You are the master here. If you start the NIV version, NIV version, it tells you that when you are under grace, you are a master over sin. But if you are under the law, sin is a master over you. You see that? Master over you. If you are under the law. That is why in Romans chapter number 7, Paul said, the things that I wanted to do, I could not do. Because there was a law that was working against me in my members. It was the law of sin and death here. But he says, who shall deliver me from this wretchedness? Then he says, when he was finishing the, the chapter of Romans 7, then he says, thanks be to Christ who came to deliver me from this, so that I will live under this, under grace. Whereby you are over, you have got dominion over sin. And you rule over sin. So to sin in this dimension is by choice. To sin under the law is not by choice. You are ruled by it. You are a slave of sin. It rules over you. So these are two different things. And I wanted you to understand that when you are under the law, the umbrella of the law, right? You cannot live in grace. And when you are under grace, you cannot live under the law. There is a demarcation of to choose one. God bless you.